Hello, and welcome to The Boys From Brazil, which I'm very curious to see. I mean, this could be something great or something really bad. Um, and here's why. On one hand, it's directed by Franklin J. Schaffner, which is a great director. I've already watched uh, Planet of the Apes, which he directed, and Papillon, which I've watched on my channel. Great films. It has a good user rating on IMDb. But on the other hand, it has a bad Metascore rating, so critics uh, don't like it, it seems like. And Gregory Peck is in it, which is usually good, but he plays a Nazi, so a very different role from what he plays um, normally. And I assume that he plays a German, a German Nazi, so that means he has an American accent, <laughs> which is a little cringy most of the times, at least from my perspective. Um, yeah, so I'm very skeptical if um, this is uh, really that that good. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and what I know about this film, about the plot, is that um, I think that Gregory Peck's character wants to rekindle the Third Reich in Paraguay and uh, that's that's pretty much it yeah sounds uh, very bizarre but makes you makes me very curious to see and this plot also reminds me a little of uh, Tarantino's uh, Inglorious Bastards which is based on factual events but totally fictional and this is also Pure fictional, I guess. Yeah, I don't really know what to think about it right now. So I guess I have to see. So let's rock. Boys from Brazil. Eh, oh yeah, and why, why from Brazil when it takes place in Paraguay? <laughs> huh. Steven Guttenberg. Isn't that Steve Guttenberg? <laughs> From Police Academy. Oh, music by Jerry Goldsmith. That's a very great composer. He also did the score to um, Papillon. And one of my favorites, First Blood. Paraguay. Oh yeah, Steve Katzenberg. <laughs> I wonder what role he's playing in all that. I guess he's playing a good guy. Maybe a reporter? Yeah, I think he's playing some kind of reporter. Maybe he discovers this, this plot. Austria. To bother such a famous Nazi hunter like yourself. Hmm. Nazi hunter, okay. The young man who has just discovered there are Nazis in South America. Why is it raining inside? <laughs> <laughs> that boy. <laughs> Where's he looking at? Gregory Peck. There he is. So he just arrived. I'm very curious about his role. Captain Gerhard Munt. Yes, yes, I have heard nothing but the highest praise for you, Captain Munt. Thank you, Herr Doctor. Uh, Captain. All right, Gunther. Captain Farnberg and I are old comrades, are we not, Captain? It's extremely flattering to be remembered after all those years, sir. And I am not so senile or so ungrateful. That I cannot remember a loyal officer from the early days of the struggle. All right. A good first impression. Impression. And I'm surprised that, that he has a slightly accent, but it's very subtle. And I like it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he puts on a German accent, but not too much. That's what I meant. Next two and a half years, 94 men must die on or near certain dates. 
24. Do not question your orders. Simply obey them. Hmm. For now, yes. He does a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm positively surprised. Find it. Uh oh. Uh, don't celebrate too early. So that means, assuming the boy talks, that he will soon get caught. <laughs> That's it. And there's no copy. So it's up to this... Uh, this guy. He's the only one who knows. Kill him. Huh. But with kill him, he... He didn't uh, mean the boy, right? I hope not. <laughs> I assume... Uh, what was his name? Cola? Like, the, the coke? <laughs> Wait, isn't that uh, Sky Dumon? <laughs> I think that's him. Hey, that's uh, Coleman. <laughs> he played the butler in uh, Trading Places. Not big. In the eighties. There was a hostage situation in Gladbeck and there's a documentary on Netflix about it, which is very interesting. Hmm. So that was number one, I guess. First kill. So time is running and the directing so far is very good. I like it. And also the music. The music is very well done. Every time there's a suspenseful uh, um, scene, the music uh, does what, what it's supposed to be. Good boy. Hmm. Are these the names of the targets? No. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They are. Bloodbag. Huh. But why does he have such a big board? I mean, isn't isn't that um what's it called? <laughs> Proof exhibits or whatever. <laughs> but what what can Lieberman do? He doesn't know anything. He he just knows how many targets and that's it. So how can anyone stop that plot from happening? That's the question. Do you kill Nazis when you catch them? Oh, that's against the law. It's much better to put them on trial so people can learn. Survive and catch them. Just put it all in history books. It's also that, that blue eyes. Right now, he should be in his room practicing. That's a prime, prime example of, uh, of a bad German exit. <laughs> How can I function if I don't have all the facts? But you do. A nosy, incompetent old Jew has bumbled onto one victim. What more do you have to know? Any idiot could see the next logical step. Kill him. We don't want to create a martyr. Ridiculous. Besides, he could have contacted various police agencies or intelligence services. They would not pay any attention to him. If he died suddenly, they would. Listen to me, Zappert. I will not permit you to lay your failure or your fear at my door. I am a scientist. I have done my job. You are an executioner. Do yours. 
he's very quick with his life and uh, death decisions. And <laughs> and he's very much like Hitler. Very charismatic, good with words, but uh, dumb as bread. <laughs> Evidence was, was the word <laughs> I was looking for. He still has the board, and that's evidence. And that's also very dumb to have that. <laughs> Mond, what happened to your memory? My God, Major Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I come up here on a job for the Comrades Organization. To kill you. Sweden? My God, what's going on? Can you tell me, or would it violate orders? What the hell is orders? I'm sick of orders. It's interesting. He's really here to kill him, right? <laughs> and now he can't. Who is this teacher? Lundberg? Olafsson? Lundberg. Okay. An order is an order. Good God, man! You are an officer of the SS! Oh, he's in it too. Oh, okay. It isn't Lundberg. It's, oh, it is him. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Is that stuntman still alive? <laughs> Massachusetts, USA. No one would have wanted to kill Jack. Hmm. Hey, wait! That's that's Ed Mira. <laughs> she was uh, mother of uh, Ben Stiller, wife to Jerry Stiller. This is Jack Curry Jr. Just Jack Curry. Mm -hmm. What is he doing here? You know, you have a double. The boy who lives in Gladbeck in Germany, exactly like you. Eh? So... <laughs> I'm not sure, but... I think... They were talk uh, talking about scientific work. So that's... that. What are they doing? Creating uh, an Aryan race or something? But why do they look exactly alike? I don't get it. My mother isn't receiving today. Well, perhaps if you told her that... Don't you understand English, you ass? We are not at home. And that was, again, a different one, a third one, wasn't it? Huh. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Düsseldorf. Wrong spelled. <laughs> the babies were delivered to me, usually by stewardesses with Varig Airlines. Varig? Did the babies all come from Brazil? Ah, the boys from Brazil. How can I call Vlog and tell him he's going to be killed by the people who gave him his baby? By Josef Mengele who's already killed the fathers of at least two other boys who happen to be twins. I'm not sure if I can follow. But these are all fathers who who get killed. <laughs> I don't know. I am a doctor, idiot. Don't you come near him. Shut up, you ugly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. The men must go back. They can't. The operation has been terminated. Terminated? By whose authority? Not yours. Your operation has been cancelled. No! Your operation has been cancelled! Mine continues! And again, he's pretty much like 
Hitler. Very impulsive. If something goes wrong. <laughs> I can't see anything. Use your open eye, Frank. <laughs> Sadist with an MD and a PhD. Well, some people would say that's a perfect definition of a scientist. <laughs> hey, that's that's Bruno Ganz. He once played Hitler in uh, Downfall, aka the Untergang. And did a pretty good job. What is impossible? Mononuclear reproduction. Oh, hmm. Cloning. Cloning. Is Mengele trying to reproduce himself? No. He has brown eyes and he comes from a very wealthy family. It could be from him because he injected some something into th this um, one boy, this uh, Paraguayan boy, <laughs> how's it called? And he got blue eyes. Dr. Brückner, the one who is cloned, the donor, he has to be alive, doesn't he? Not necessarily. Individual cells taken from a donor can be preserved indefinitely. Oh, it's Hitler. <laughs> it's a clone of Hitler. Okay, now it, now it makes sense. Not Mozart, doctor. Not because Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Huh. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> and that music. But wait. He said the father died at 64. And now. 94, 64 year olds should be killed. Does it mean there are th this many clones out there by now? And all the fathers of the clones should be killed? So the boys, are, the boys from Brazil are all these 94 or, or 90 something boys. And they are all 14 by now. So that means, like, let's call it a hundred. A, a hundred little Hitlers are now out there. <laughs> Yo, Herr Lieberman. He Mike Tyson him. A Hitler tailor made for the 1980s, 90s, 2000. <laughs> yeah. But he does a great job. And I like all that all that sweat in this uh Monologue. These little details. And I stopped by having just returned from abroad. And he let me in. Huh. And then he pulled out a gun. <laughs> this guy. Call the police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are the living duplicate of the greatest man in history. Adolf Hitler. Oh man, you're weird. <laughs> he to bend whole nations to your will. Your to destroy father. without mercy all who oppose you. <laughs> He's still talking. 
No, he fights his father. And then he kills him. And and then he is killed by Hitler. <laughs> what by by what he created. <laughs> oh man. You freaked out maniac! <laughs> we have the right and we have the duty. To do what? Kill children? Give me that list. The first of those boys that you touch, I will turn you and your entire organization over to the police. I will do that. You would protect Hitler? No. Will not slaughter the innocent, and neither will you. A fanatic you may be, but a murderer of young children you are not. Isn't that a nice thing to say? Hmm. Man. The end. <laughs> All right. What a film. Totally different than I expected. And not as bad as I expected. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Especially the twists in the story. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I talk about more in. Uh, I mean, I talk about more in the review. Alright, that was it. That was The Boys from Brazil. Yeah. What a film. <laughs> What a great story. Totally different than I expected. And it was really engaging. Thought provoking. And very well acted. I have to say Gregory Peck. And also the guy who played Lieberman. Lawrence Oliver. Very well done. Great job. Except the accent. From uh, what was it? <laughs> Lawrence Oliver. He put a little too much on the accent. Um, yeah, but acting wise, top. Just top. And yeah, also Gregory Peck, which did a very good accent. Not too much. Very subtle. Very good. Yeah. Back to the story. I was, I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Because the pacing was so good, it was so well paced, I was all, always engaged. And I mean the main plot twist was very much to the end, but they managed to reveal it step by step until it gets to that point, that big reveal. And that was, yeah, just great. That reveal. <laughs> I, I would never have expected that from this film. And it was totally fictional. That I expected. And pretty well directed also. The music, very well done. The music was so su suspenseful. It, it added a lot to the... Oh, yeah, to the suspense. And therefore I was so engaged in the story. <laughs> and what I see now is that it was nominated for three Oscars. Nominated for three Oscars. Who could that be? Could it be Gregory Peck? Could it be Lawrence Oliver? What else? The music? Like I said. These are my tips actually. Gregory Peck, Lawrence Oliver, and Jerry Goldsmith. Yeah, let's see. Nominated. Yeah, Lawrence Oliver. Film editing. Oh, oh yeah. And best music. Yeah, the film editing. Because I said the pacing was very good. This ha has a lot to do with the editing. I agree. <laughs> and also, what a cast. 
so many recognizable faces. S Steve Guttenberg, and Mira, Bruno Gans. And it was, it was actually um, Sky Dumont. <laughs> very young, very young. I uh, know him older. But I don't know if he's, uh, if he's known internationally. But uh, he played in many German films. And uh, yeah. And also James Mason. I didn't know his name, but he was also very familiar. And this guy. I hope I pronounce it uh, right. Michael Gu. Go, go. <laughs> he was Alfred in uh, the the 80s Batman. Yeah. And now I wonder what the critics didn't like about the film, especially about Gregory Peck's performance, because IMDb trivia says that they didn't like Gregory Peck in this film. And maybe it's because of his image. This is the first real villain he plays. I mean, is it just that? The image? Could it be? Because he was really great in this role. His eyes, especially his eyes. And the way he talked. I don't know. It, I think it, it was great. But critics didn't like it. Not all critics, of course, but uh, a lot, a lot of them. Hmm. That's interesting. And what I also liked is the morality at the end. The question, the one guy wanted to kill all, all the boys. And Dr. Lieberman said, no, these are uh, innocent. And um, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> On one hand, it's, it's a copy of Hitler, one to one. But he made uh, different experiences in life. So the question is, will he be like him or not? Is it, is it in, in the genes or is it the surroundings who will form a character? Right? And I mean, you're innocent until proven guilty or until you do something uh, bad. These children are innocent. I feel weird talking about it, but because it's Hitler. <laughs> but uh, yeah, will it really be Hitler? And you never can answer this question for sure. So, but judging by the last scene, it appears that uh, Hitler will become Hitler. <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Franklin J. Schaffner, he did it again. <laughs> I was very skeptical at first, very skeptical, but it turned out great. All right, um, and that's it. I've nothing more to say. So until next time, bye bye.